Hi, everybody. Lee Bodette, your host of Test Drive on the YouTube channel, radio broadcaster for over 40 years and a representative of Sport Car USA and, of course, a car enthusiast my entire life. Thanks for coming back to the Test Drive podcast. And we wanted to talk about Sport Car USA today. With us is the creator slash general manager of Sport Car USA, Adam Luneau. Adam, you've been in the automotive business since you were a little boy. Tell us about yourself. Lee, thank you, and uh, <clears throat> thank you for having me. Um, born and raised in the, in the car business, uh, my uh, grandfather, first generation dealer, and uh, great uncle, and uncles and father and, and siblings, so uh, mother. Um, it's been a family tradition, uh, great way to raise a family. You spend a lot of time together. Uh, but I've seen a, a lot of transitions. I've seen the, uh, you know, the greatest generation at the helm in the days of the big boats and the um, V8 and V6 sedans and, um, you know, the days of domestic dominance. I remember the year we became an Oldsmobile dealer. Um, the Cutlass, the year before, had been the best-selling car in America. So your family has been in the auto business for, what, 70-plus years? 1952. Okay. So uh, 2022 was our 70th year in business. So you were kind of born into the business. You had yeah. it in your your veins. Yeah, it was. We, we were never uh, we were never pushed to go to the store, but it was it was fun. Right. It was exciting. You always see the new models coming in, and you get chummy with the customers and the and and the team, and uh, a lot of camaraderie. Even at a young age, it was fun. You really, a lot, lot of stuff to look up to. Well, you're located in uh, northern Vermont, and your family is very, very well known, obviously, uh, what we call Franklin County. Then you came up with an idea for Sport Car USA, which I also am proud to represent. Tell us about what Sport Car USA is. So Sport Car USA is a brand that uh, specializes in buying and selling modern muscle cars all over the world. Um, we... Uh, produce and, and host uh, the YouTube series Test Drive, as well as this podcast Test Drive hosted by uh, yeah, yours truly, uh, Lee Bodette. Yeah, love it. Um, and it really brings um, what we thought was some glue to the modern muscle industry. There's kind of like a transition going on right now. So you have the greatest generation that were really dialed in on classics. And you had... Um, you know, the, the uh, greatest gen and the baby boomers that really got into the, the muscle, retro muscle cars with the, with the GTOs and the um, Camaros and the Trans Ams and, you know. Um, and now the, there's this transition, uh, I don't know, um, over the last 15, 20 years with these retro modern muscle cars. But really, uh, they hadn't really become... Um, you know, relics until, you know, the last few years and people are like, hey, wow, internal combustion engines, you know, they're going to be gone. They're going to be a thing of the past. And these cars are just so much more comfortable and so much more luxurious and have so much more torque and horsepower and features and options. They're so much more efficient than the retro muscle cars. So we started just dabbling. Um, I don't know, one of the guys got into uh, Shelby specifically. They were bought a few cars that came out of Tasca's tune shop in the Rhode Island. Um, Bob Tasca, uh, famous car guy. The his slogan was to bet on the come. Um, but um, and we found that people would travel for these cars. So we started out, we had a, a unique GT, Shelby GT500. It was a convertible. I remember it had the white suede seat. And uh, I'll always remember the car because we bought it from an auction and it came with four tires, four dirty tires <laughs> on top of the white suede oh. and how hard it was to get that out of the car. Um, but hey, we, we found that people really enjoyed buying muscle cars, um, that it was neat, that it could be a niche. And we kind of went from there with it. So the Luneau family, excuse me, 
and the Handy family, synonymous in this Franklin County area, selling Toyotas, Chevy, Buick, you mentioned Oldsmobile. When did it hit you that we want to have almost a separate entity, a separate franchise, if you will, and let's call it Sport Car USA? Yeah, uh, well, we just saw there was a market. Um, you know, prior to the internet and um, prior to more of the, you know, marketplace, classified, uh, eBay, auto trader, cars.com marketplace, it was really tough to get stuff. So um, up here, our sport car season was just so short. And dealers, uh, because they couldn't turn the things, were very conservative. So they wouldn't want these cars. They'd want them from Washington's birthday to the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. And you would never dream, unless you wanted to keep the car, uh, which we never did, of um, keeping hot rods. So with the internet and with these classifieds, and you know, there's there's dozens of classifieds and dozens of remarketing places to sell used cars. You got this national stage, this international national stage for for cars. And um, what's unique about the cars in the Northeast? You know, the average driver puts twelve thousand miles a year on a car mm -hmm. in the Southeast or in the West, um, but our hot rods are only driven from. You know, Memorial Day, mid-May, early May to, you know, early, mid-October. Yeah, we're um, in northern Vermont, so uh, the season is rather short for sport cars. So did people think that this was a crazy idea because of where you're located? They did, but I, I think they, they thought, they looked past the fact that our cars get, you know, 10% um, on average of the miles driven a year than... The car's in a national stage. So, Lee, you could be in Florida and have a five-year-old uh, GT500, and probably the average one down there has 60,000 miles on it. Yeah. And here, uh, that car might have 10,000 miles. Right. So so it's uh, we have a haven, and, and there's so much more information on how to maintain stuff. And, you know, what's the downfall of Vermont winters? Well, brine and road salt. And, well, we know how to preserve cars now. You know, you, you leave them in an in a area where you control the humidity and you control the heat and the temperature. And so a lot of the risk left with that. But yeah, people thought it was unorthodox and people still think it's unorthodox. But um, it, it's, it's a mainstream market. I wouldn't even call it a niche market. I mean, there's, there's a real demand for this product. A little bit later in this podcast, we're gonna talk about how you acquire the sport cars and a whole lot more. We're talking with Adam Luneau who's the creator and general manager of Sport Car USA based in St. Albans, Vermont. I'm Lee Baudet, your host, and also uh, a worker, if you will, the front man of Sport Car USA, I would say, right? I would, say, I, I would say you're the host, Lee. You're, you're the, the you're, host. You're the, you're the host <laughs> in the lifeblood. You're the yes. guy who makes it all happen. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Guy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So let's look behind the scenes of Sport Car USA. It's not just let's put some cars out there on a the lot and let's sell them. There is a digital aspect to it, podcasts that we're doing, such as this one, and the Test Drive series. Tell us a little bit about that, behind the scenes. Well, the, the Test Drive series is kind of interesting how we thought of that, and that was really a, we have a, uh, and, and I really, or Lee really can't take all the credit for Sport Car USA. We have a team that works full time on it. We have a collaborative group effort, a weekly meeting where about a half dozen of us have input on the brand. Um, but we were really um, kind of pushed in this direction. I don't know if anyone remembers the King of Cars. I remember you uh, showed me these. And it was, uh, his, his, I think his name was Chop, and he had a bunch of stuff, and they had all kinds of themes and all kinds of cars. Right. And, it was ridiculous. And it was in Vegas. It was, ah, I think it was really <laughs> cool, and I think that he kind of sold, um, you know, uh, the dealership lifestyle like it was Seinfeld, like it was a sitcom. And it was neat. Of course, I was interested because I like cars. Um, and then, Lee, you joined us. And Lee has 40-some-odd years in the broadcasting and, and the radio biz. And um, we grew up listening to you on OKO, uh, Sunday Radio yeah, Flea Market. Yeah. 
And you're a muscle car guy. You're a retro car guy. You're a classic car guy. And we had a, kind of a match made in heaven. It's so. a perfect marriage. It really is. And when I did join the Luno handy team, if you will, I had no idea I would be selling sport cars or I had no idea I'd be involved in something called Sport Car USA. So it's been a, a lot of fun. That's for sure. Adam, how do you acquire the sport cars? Where do they come from? If I tell you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> it would be the first time. Now, um, it's a, it's a all over the place. It's kind of like a planes, trains, and automobiles type of game. We acquire stuff all over the place. My grandfather used to call it EDI, everyday interest. Uh, we don't have a, a silver bullet approach. Um, you know, we have a, a couple dedicated uh, buyers and folks that are constantly looking at stuff. And, you know, our stuff from, comes from all over the country. Sometimes it could come alongside the road, could get it from another show, could get it from a fan, um, a, a, a customer in one of the stores. Um, yeah, we've we've bought stuff right at one, some of our showcases in the past. Yeah, I mean. I remember we've acquired we'll, we'll, some stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy any car. But, I mean, the bottom line is uh, there's, there is no silver bullet all over the place. What about a couple of stories you might have with people buying these sport cars from Sport Car USA? I know I heard a story about a Corvette going to Australia, of all places. Yep. Uh, my understanding with the, it, it was a, I believe, was it a C5? It was like a 97, I believe. Yeah. And uh, they, they use them for drifting cars down there. So there's, there's a threshold with years with the emissions gig. And after a certain uh, amount of years, you could get them down there. So the folks down, down under are buying up these, I believe it's C5s, and uh, they're converting them to drift cars. And I understand it's akin to like the salt flats in Utah, but they, they gut these cars and they, they put crazy amounts of horsepower on them and they drive them through the, the flats down there. So um, we have some other uh, cool cars, um, cool stories. So Sport Car USA, it's going into its third year, is it? I'm trying to think of other cool stories for you, Lee. That's okay. That's okay. You, you, you've got a lot. I know you do. But it's going into its third year, and it seems to be building momentum. You mentioned the weekly meetings that all of us at Sport Car USA have, and everybody getting behind it. Various ideas coming out of those meetings, of course. Where are the upcoming events that you hold in Vermont and beyond? Well, we participated last year in 13 uh, regional events. I think we went as far as um, Lake George um, for the Saratoga Car Show. Not the Saratoga, what's the? Uh, Lake, Lake George. Yep. Yeah. The Lake, Adirondack Nationals. Adirondack no, Nationals. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah. We host a show in May, June, July, August, the third Friday all of those months. Um, we also participate, or participate in the other uh, nine local regional shows. Um, Going to host our first show this Friday at our old uh, Handy Toyota location, the, old, the current Handy's downtown. Um, great location right in the heart of downtown St. Albans. We'll have uh, our buddy Bob from Bob's Meat Market <laughs> making some bacon cheeseburgers and some classic... Uh, Coca-Cola um, and then in June, July and August we will follow up with a show at our, our new uh, state of the art uh, Chevrolet and Toyota facilities on Highgate Road expect a really big turnout there Lee uh, probably you know, upwards to at least a thousand people maybe uh, five, six hundred participants in terms of cars so. One of the things Sport Car USA did this past year is coming up with a calendar which is a really sharp calendar. We've got the large ones and the smaller ones. And I think we mentioned on a previous podcast, Scott Nickerson, who's also joining us here on this podcast, that if people wanted one, they could go to our website, correct? Yeah, we've got info on there for people who uh, want to sign up for the calendars. And we really want to get these out to people who are enthusiasts and want to be involved with the car community and show our appreciation back to them. 
What's your future vision for Sport Car USA, Adam? I'd like to see Sport Car USA on a national stage. Um, and what I mean by that is as a mainstream um, player in the modern muscle industry. Um, from both a uh, forum standpoint, I, I still think that there's um, a lack thereof of like a general forum for things going on, modern muscle. Um, I also think that um, there's going to continue to be a tremendous amount of interest and demand with the transition to uh, whether it be electric or hydrogen or, or with, the, with the moonlighting of the internal combustion engine. Um, and I mean, hey, you're seeing it right now. A lot of last model years yeah. across the board. A lot of in, a lot of people sp spiking interest. People rushing to get an order in for the last, you know, Hellcat or Camaro or or Mustang. Um, so I, I I think it'll be um, you know a, a, certainly at a larger scale. And I would like to think that we could really focus on building our network um, because there really is a lot of people out there looking to be part of this stuff. I think it's great that Sport Car USA is specializing in modern muscle cars. I don't believe anybody else is doing it. Yes, you have your Corvette dealers, you have your what have you out there, but to specialize in modern muscle cars, it's a tribute and it's a treat to see the various cars rolling into the dealership and the first question is like where'd you get that from how many miles on it that kind of thing but we've seen them all and i would say 98 percent of those cars that you're bringing in are pristine we've seen some stuff that's like baffling how low mileage it is like stuff that's five or six years old with under a thousand miles on it and we've seen some stuff that's just like in immaculate shape for being uh we've got like a an older camaro it's just like it got race packages and all this stuff, and it's in the hundreds of miles, and it's a 2015. Most of, uh, most if not all these cars have immaculate documentation. Uh, all their service records um, have been kept in pristine, you know, garage shape. Um, I know we, we have a um, warehouse offsite um, where we keep all our cars, and, and they're kept out of the elements, and they have battery tenders on them and people checking the fluids and making sure there's no leaks or no dry rotting. So, I mean, the pedigree of, of our cars is, is, I'd say, top notch. How does somebody contact Sport Car USA if maybe they have a vehicle they want to sell or they're looking for one? Well, SportCarUSA.com. And uh, you can check us out on Facebook, on YouTube. I think we got some other social media stuff. Just about all of them. Instagram, TikTok, if you're feeling crazy. Scott, do you have any questions for Adam? I don't think so. I think that covers a, a pretty wide spectrum of what we do at Sport Car USA, and he's kind of the 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 chief of it all. Yeah, yeah. he is. Any <laughs> final thoughts, Adam? Uh, check us out. You know, uh, maybe you're not a uh, a motorhead, so to speak, but uh, you know, maybe your kids will have a good time, or or maybe your folks will have a good time. You know, our our local events are, are free for everyone. Uh, we have some great refreshments. It's a great way to get out of the house. Always have some good music, some good food. Um, we have a, our local butcher does literally grounds all the, the beef himself, and it's all, <laughs> it's all, it's all good quality food. Um, but muscle car enthusiasts or folks who are just looking to have a good time, come one, come all, and check out Sport Car USA, check out Test Drive, like our podcast, tell folks about us. And, uh, hey, we look forward to seeing you folks around. Adam Luneau from Sport Car USA. He's the creator and general manager. Came up with this crazy idea that we're all having so much fun with. Scott Nickerson, thank you from Sport Car USA for joining us as well. We appreciate everybody listening to the Test Drive podcast. I'm Lee Bodet, your host. Check out our Test Drive series on YouTube, and we'll see you next time on our Test Drive podcast. And remember, let's never forget the men and women serving this great country of ours. Goodbye, everybody.